Hello and welcome back to Game Focus. Just before we went after that short break, we discussed about the dynamics between Middle East Africans concerning the concept of gaming. This video is sponsored by Kaftan TV. To watch the full video on their page, click the link in the description down below. So, and we are sure to bring you more with revealing concepts and more topics concerning that issue so we have two more questions before we call it a day so good news what are the advantages of introducing gaming to the society in your opinion advantages Disadvantage the advantages of introducing gaming into the society i mean in your own raw opinion unrefined crude opinion <laughs> we not to get money <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, money is the goal, yeah, boys. Yeah, I mean, I mean, is there a way you can like okay. break it down for? I mean, the layman. You no, know, so guys, turn profits from there, and also serve as an educational, this thing, educational uh, awareness for young individuals. Sometimes there are some games that actually portray a lot. You understand? Maybe war. There are some war games. There are some educational games too. Yeah. That's actually for meant for the I mean I saw I mean I saw Dr. Driving on my phone yeah, the, on so, I saw yeah. Dr. Driver is it Dr. Driver the app on my phone the other Dr. day? Driving, yeah. I mean I could actually learn teaches people to yes. drive learn make basic driving skills and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually game devs cooking games that actually yeah, exactly few basics you understand so yeah. the game actually gives you a basic of how things actually operate yeah. and, so and now and now and now with the era of interactive games now yeah. we see i mean we, i mean you can hear new words now just by watching the cutscene of yeah. a single game and you're like oh my god i just like this game it's giving me vibes i mean you have your dictionary just by the side with you just be like okay yeah. what did this guy say let me just let me just look up my dictionary oh, and check and you, and exactly you mythology yes mythology exactly too, because all these game developers they actually i mean they put a lot into their research, research they yeah. go into i mean like for example you said god of war i mean we see santa monica oh, and yeah. the likes of them cory barrock they went into like um, Norse mythology even before the um upcoming installment i mean even before the new installment of the god of war franchise i mean we've seen the older yeah, ones yeah. i mean we saw that they focus more on greek mythology and now they are switching over to Norse, Norse mythology. mythology what can you say about the advantages of introducing gaming into the society uh, i'll pick up i'll pick up i'll pick off, I'll pick off from where it stopped on um, the educational games. Take for example, uh, in Africa, there's a very popular game. We have Ludo, yeah. for example. So my brother is not a fan of Ludo. I have a brother, and he challenged me to a game of chess. And everyone knows chess is more of an intellectual game, yeah. where you know you have to really think, and thus it promotes cognitive function in people. So he challenged me, and it actually took me like six months no one taught me i had to play against the computer the computer actually taught me how to play chess and from there on i went on to play tournaments overseas international tournaments chess wow. tournaments wow. just within the period of six months learning from the computer not like i did i did not have to hire like a chess expert or something wow, and went international with gen stand so yes uh gaming can actually be educational to people and also there's one that gives me a kick which is um social activity and teamwork yeah. take for example multiplayer now the multiplayer um, feature in gaming gives people the ability to connect from everywhere in the world you know people you don't know people you yeah. have never met before mm. on you know okay. you go on you go play a game yeah. and you're playing with someone in um, America or someone in Afghanistan, oh, India. And, uh, oh. India. And before you know it, you already have a friend over there. And next thing you guys are, there's this teamwork like um, COD. 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 PUBG. For players on known battlegrounds, yes, yes. Fortnite. Fortnite too. Um, you got amongst us or amongst us. Or no, no, among us. Among us, yeah. So we have that also. It promotes teamwork, it promotes um, social activities. So you just said about that, I mean, 
Gaming, 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 gaming. We've all, I mean, from what, from the little I could like pick off, everything was just about, I mean, what gaming can do to make you smart. So, here is my last and final question to you guys. So, what is your, what is your message to middle-aged Africans concerning the old gaming shenanigan in the old society? I mean, you no, know, just before I hand the questions over to you I, I i watched a video that surfaced online whereby people in their mid mid 50s i mean they were i mean caucasians like they were white people and i saw them all looking all dressed up like dapper and all and they were sitting down discussing video games like that content exclusive to xbox xbox going forward are you one of the things we're being very clear about as we move forward with the regulatory review of this acquisition is that great titles like Call of Duty from Activision Blizzard today will continue to be available on the Sony PlayStation. We'd like to bring it to Nintendo devices. We'd like to bring the other popular titles. I mean, I was so surprised and I was like, I was like, this is like very, very like motivational. And like just to see people just like come up and like even not even people like in the younger demographic, even in the older demographic, just like getting so happy to talk about Call of Duty and how the developers are going to do that. But in Nigeria or in Africa in general, all we just see is, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's my position to say, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> That's what I would just say. So, my question to the both of you now is, what is your message to middle-aged Nigerians or Africans in general, in specific, when it comes to gaming in society? Well, to me, I think they should actually give gaming a chance, you know, to actually give gaming a chance and stop criticizing it. You understand? So, what has it the disadvantage has disadvantages, like he said. So, and we have given them the advantages of gaming. So, not I should also actually tell them that you should give gaming a chance. Okay, okay. I'm adding the question over to you. Over to you, Dami. Um, yes, I, I agree with him. Uh, I personally, I have relations that are middle age, and we do play games together, and it's actually um, it, gi it, it gives a special bond. I don't know how to really explain it. You know, mm. it's relaxing. You know, yeah, someone yeah, who's very much older, heartwarming. Yes, yeah, more heartwarming, and you know, there's this bond whenever we play and we get closer. So I would actually advise that middle middle aged people, you know, actually embrace, even just as a relax as a means of relaxation. I mean, I also saw something else too that also got i mean i also got my attention i saw a woman like a grandmother who was always motivating her kid to play games i mean his grandmother has been playing games all over and like that's like the woman already became his coach and they were going for he was already going for like professional competitions and all i mean i think his name is tens i think i saw it on an ig ign ign um an ign release on youtube so i mean what what else do you like do you feel like they should just i mean they should be able to like just use that as a means of like affection i mean valentine's day is around the corner or is already yes let's just say you don't already you don't already land so do you feel like this valentine's this whole valentine season do you feel like you should just you just relax or hang out with parents just to play video games uh <laughs> <laughs> that's that actually meant for you know loved ones so playing games with them can actually bring that love yeah. so basically if you have a significant other i mean you just whip up mm -hmm. your console and yeah. you'll be like okay let's just play a short game of like forza horizon or something yeah, so the, no uh, forza horizon is too far for them Mortal Kombat is, is much yeah. more... No, Forza Horizon is still, it's, it's still it's a car racing game. Alright, uh, <laughs> all right. before we digress, you all have heard it, folks, that parents should um, reduce the way they approach gaming and they should like just have a warmer approach to it and not too cold and because that can even increase the bond with their children or even their significant other if their significant other is even involved in gaming so before we leave because we're already getting to the end of the program let's head on to the trivia 
and I'll see you guys right there. Do not go anywhere and please stay with us.